Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can record a Google Slides presentation as a video, and more specifically as an MP4. So by doing that, you can create something that looks like this. Check this out. I am recording my Google Slide presentation. Here I could jump through all of the different slides in my presentation, and I could also include a voiceover, and hey, check this out. I've got video down here as well. Oh, that's pretty cool, and I'll show you step-by-step -step how you can create that yourself. And best of all, it's entirely free. It won't cost you anything. All right, let's jump on the PC and let's see how we can do this. To be able to turn your Google Slides presentation into a video, we are going to use free software called OBS. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software and you can download it at the website obsproject.com. I've also included a link in the description of this video. You can simply click on that to navigate to this website. You can use OBS to record Google Slides as well as anything else on your desktop. It's an extremely powerful screen recorder. To get started, click on the OS that you're on, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, run through the download and install process. Once you finish downloading and installing OBS, go ahead and launch the application. You should see something that appears like this. And at first glance, it might look like we've just arrived at Mission Control at NASA, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how you can use it. By far, the easiest way to get started with OBS is to simply use the Auto Configuration Wizard. To access this, let's go up to the top menu bars over here and click on the one that says Tools. The very first option in the menu is the Auto Configuration Wizard. Let's click on that. This opens up a prompt where we get to specify how we want to use OBS. We want to record some Google Slides, so let's click on the second option that says Optimize Just for Recording. Then let's click on Next. On the next screen, I can select the base resolution and I'll leave it set to the current 1920 by 1080. Down below, I can also set the frames per second. Now, we're just recording a Google Slides presentation, so the frames don't really matter too much. We're not gonna have any crazy animations, so I'll just leave this set to the default. Let's now click on Next. On the last screen of the Auto Configuration Wizard, it'll show us a summary of all of our different selections. This all looks great to me, so next, let's click on Apply Settings. Now that we've finished walking through the Auto Configuration Wizard, there's one more setting that I want to configure. Let's Let's go up to the file menu in the top left hand corner and then click on settings. Within settings, let's go down to output on the left hand side and over under recording, we can set the recording format. By default, it's set to MKV. To make it as easy as possible, let's change this to MP4. Basically what this means is when you record your video or your slide presentation, it'll output an MP4 file. And this is a very versatile file. You could import it into pretty much any video editing software and you can even upload directly to YouTube using this file format. Once we're all done, let's go down and click on OK. So far, you are making great progress and we're getting very close to being able to record our Google Slides. But before we do that, first off, we have to indicate what we want to record. Right now, we just have a black screen here. Down under sources, we can specify what we want to record. Let's click on the plus icon and you'll see this massive list appear of all of the different things that you can record. We want to record our display or basically what appears on your monitor. Let's click on display capture. Within the next prompt, you can simply leave the default of display capture and then click on OK. On the next screen, you'll see a preview of your display. Under that, especially if you have multiple monitors, you can also choose the monitor or the display that you want to capture. Under that, there's also a checkbox for whether you want to capture your cursor. So as we're recording our Google Slides presentation, do you want people to be able to see your mouse or not, it's your choice. I'm gonna leave this checked. Once we're all set to go, let's click on the button that says OK. This brings us back to the main OBS screen. If you still see a black screen up above, I've included a link to a video in the description that can walk you through potentially fixing that. One thing you'll notice is a little bit of our screen or our display is cut off over here. We need to resize this to make sure we can record the entire screen. To resize, let's right click on this source and go to resize output. Next, let's click on yes. Here now you'll see that my entire screen fits within the area that will be recorded. We now have OBS all set up to start recording Google Slides. However, if you also want to include your video on the recording, I'll quickly show you how you can include that. 
Once again, let's go down to sources, let's click on the plus icon, and this time let's select video capture device. That's a fancy way of saying webcam. Once you click on that, it'll open up another prompt, let's leave it as it is, and then click on OK. This opens up another screen, and I can see myself, yes, my webcam is working. Right down here, all the settings look good, so I'll simply click on OK. This now inserted my video into OBS, but it's really big compared to my desktop. Here, I can adjust the size of my video by using this red rectangle. Here, I'll make it nice and small, and I'll put it down in the bottom right-hand corner. So this will be my position as I provide the voiceover and the video for my Google Slides presentation. If you wanna get really fancy, you can also remove the background in back of you, so that way you sit on top of your slide presentation. And there are two different ways that you can pull this off. The first technique uses a green screen. You put a green screen in back of you, and then you can use OBS to remove the green screen. If you're interested in this, I've included a link in the description of this video. The second technique requires a newer NVIDIA RTX graphics card. They have some software called NVIDIA Broadcast and it'll use AI to automatically remove the background. If you're interested in this, I've also included a link in the description. Now that we have our video set up, let's look over at the audio mixer right here. And this is where we can check all of our different audio levels. You'll likely see two different bars here. One of them is for your system sound. So this is anything that's playing on your computer. Maybe you're playing some music or maybe you're playing a video. Here you could adjust the levels. If you want to mute your system sound, you can click on this icon. And if I click on it again, now it's turned on. You'll also see your microphone here. This is a quick way to verify that your microphone is working properly. Here too, if you don't want your microphone to be included in the recording, you can click on here to mute it and you can click on it again to turn it back on. Okay, we are now just about ready to start recording. Over on the right hand side, you can click on start recording under controls and that'll kick off the recording. But there is one drawback. If you click on start recording here, the first few seconds of your recording will include OBS or this screen that we see. You could use editing software to cut out the first few seconds, or we could set a hotkey or a shortcut key to automatically kick off the recording. To set a hotkey, you could go up to the file menu, click into settings, and then over on the left-hand side, there's a category for hotkeys. Right over here, you can set a hotkey to start the recording. Maybe I'll just set it to control F1. And once again, I'll set a stop recording shortcut key here. Maybe I'll set control F1 as well. You can even set a shortcut key to pause recording. So as you're going through your slide presentation, maybe you go through a few slides and you wanna take a break. Maybe you wanna collect your thoughts and then you wanna kick off recording again. You can pause it and then resume it once you're ready to go. So you can also set hotkeys for those. I'm going to leave it set to control one to start and stop recording and then click on okay. Okay, so I think we are now all ready to go and we've walked through all of the configuration. As a next step, let's open up Google Slides. Here I have my slideshow ready to go and I wanna add a voiceover and I also want to include my video on this. Here, I'll click on the present button and this launches me into presentation mode. So my recording now is just about ready to start. Now I could press the shortcut key and that'll start the recording. So I press my shortcut key and we are now on. I could use all of the different annotation tools as part of my presentation. Here I have my video in the bottom right hand corner and I'm recording this presentation. Check this out. These are the best cookies you've never had at the Kevin Cookie Company. And yes, we make all of our cookies with love. Once I'm all done with with my recording, once again, I'll press the shortcut key and that has now stopped my recording. I can now exit presentation mode and my recording is all set. Back now within OBS to view our recording, you can go up to the file menu up here and then click on show recordings. This will open up File Explorer, and here we see the new recording. Let's click on this to see how it turned out. The recording. So I press my shortcut key, and we are now on. So check that out. I've now recorded my slide presentation, I've included annotations, and I can see my video in the bottom right hand corner. Now that we've confirmed that we recorded our video as expected, we can take this MP4 file and we could upload it to YouTube. You could upload it to a learning management system. You could distribute this file however you'd like. Now, one more thing to call out. If you have multiple monitors, this approach is a lot easier. You can place OBS on one monitor and then you could place your slide presentation on the other monitor. So this way you could see exactly what you're recording. Either way though, even with one monitor, this approach works extremely well for 
being able to record your Google Slides presentation. And hey, it's free. All right, well, that's how easy it is to create a video using Google Slides together with OBS. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you wanna see me cover any other topics on my channel, leave a comment down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.